Hey, it's Greg from His Dolls, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the best boy doll. All my life I've been trying, trying to be me. So yes, I have in my hands Aiden Russell from Series 5 of Rainbow High. So Series 5 is just now coming out. Actually, technically, I don't think it's out till February 26th. Um, but I ordered off of Amazon Aiden as soon as I saw the links available. My friend Alex Rose, I'll tag them here. They also are reviewing some of Series 5 dolls. Uh, sent me a link immediately and I purchased Aiden right away. Aiden is my number one from the new series. I'm so excited to have him. And let's just get straight into it. So this is Aiden in his packaging and this is the new box style. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people are loving the new box style and I think it's interesting, but I kind of like the original box style more. Actually, I have um, Alex Silverstone from Shadow High Series 2 over here. Um, I'm gonna be opening him in this video as well because if I'm honest, I just wanna steal some of his pieces for Aiden. And I've had him sitting here for a while and just haven't opened them yet. So it's gonna be like a dual unboxing and review. But comparing the two of these, like this is cute and I really like the art and everything, but this just feels more deluxe to me. And I know it has two outfits and the problem with it is like, look, the shoes won't even stay in. I've had to put it back in there myself. Um, the shoes don't stay in. A lot of people like to steal the outfits and everything. So I completely understand why they changed it. But I just think this is more eye-catching than this, in my opinion. Like, I really like this box style. But I know it has its faults and everything. So that's just my two cents. Not that it uh, counts for much. But I do, I am still a fan of this one. I like how much artwork we get of the doll now. So we have, like, this, like, line lining up with the art in the back. And it's the same here. And I think there's like two more uh, things of art of him here. And it's got like more sketches. But here we can see him. He only comes with one outfit. Uh, Aiden was $27 on Amazon. And he only comes with one outfit and everything we see here. So you can see him in the box, his outfit. You can see his accessories. He's got the glasses. He's got a laptop, a bottle, a phone and phone case, and then his hangers. And yeah, I guess that's kind of it on the front. Oh, and then we have up here, of course. Does it say what series? It just says series and then has a photo of a mannequin. I don't know how well you can see that, but it doesn't actually have a number. It's just series and then a mannequin form. Um, but he's series five. Then over on this side, we have his focus, which is fashion design. Or yeah, fashion design focus. And then on the back, we have him and Kim from the new line. She looks so stunning. She has one of the best faces of Rainbow High. Unfortunately, I, her clothes, I cannot say the same for. I think her clothes really hold her back. But they look really good on the box together. Aiden looks so cute in his art. And here in the bottom, it says, Rainbow High doesn't follow trends. We make them. Watch out, Shadow High. The world of fashion, we always make the cut. So I guess there's still some more Rainbow High, Shadow High rivalry being the theme. And, oh, of course, it says, let your true colors shine. We can see down here. Uh, into the box and I think that's it oh and then down here there's a scan it says um, scan to get a free toy I actually did it you scan then you take like uh, enter like your information as in um, I think email name address and then I think you're kind of entered to get something from MGA I'm not quite sure I did it if anything comes from it I'll let you guys know but I'm not sure I figured why not but yeah so that's everything of Aiden in his box um, I don't think there's any other details. Oh, and of course, like his barcode and stuff like that. Um, now let's look at Ash Silverstone real quick. I'm going to let you know this uh, review is not going to be too in-depth on Ash because um, I mainly just want him so I can get to his accessories. And I know there's like 100 reviews of Ash already on here, but I'll still show him off. Um, let me put his shoes back. So Ash is here in kind of the classic Rainbow High unboxing, except it's reversed from typical Rainbow High. Like in uh, Rainbow High series one through four, you'd have the clothes over here. And here it's on this side. You see Ash inside. You can see his comb, um, his second outfit. And then down here we have Nicole, Ash, Luna, Chanel, and Natasha and Heather. And it says Shadow High here. It says let your true color shine. I think it says, yeah, series one up here. 
on the side whoop, on this side it has media production focus no audio and visual effects focus and on the back we can see the full shadow high series they look amazing i love their art and it says rainbow high has officially met its match expect the unexpected from the fine art students of shadow high and then the same thing in a bunch of other languages now i've said it so many times on my channel i'll say it again i'm not a big shadow high collector so you're probably wondering why do you have ash then um i've actually had him since december of 2022 he was on sale for nine dollars and i was like i can't say no to that he has amazing pieces so i did buy him and i just haven't been excited to open him but now I have a reason to because I need to steal his clothes. So that is Ash in his box. So we're going to start with opening up Aiden. So I'm going to start by just talking about Series 5, the changes that come to it while I'm unboxing him. Um, series 5 is bringing a couple of changes. And for starters, we only have one outfit. Um, but with that, we also have a low, lower price points and the addition of kind of uh, non-wearable accessories, I guess is the way to put it. Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, this tape is not one to come undone. It's not just like earrings and accessories. It's like accessories in the form of things like this here. Um, also this is going to be my first series five unboxing. So if I do anything off, I'm sorry. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I got him out very easy. This art is so cute. I love Aiden's art. And then we have Aiden in this part, that art, same art right here. He looks pretty good. His hair is crazy gelled, like series one crazy gelled. Um, so I wanna talk about how I feel about the difference with the price point, the um, all the changes. So I love that we're getting accessories like cell phones. I feel like all of them should have cell phones. I hate that some of the ones in series five didn't come with cell phones. This is his stand, uh, the back pole. I don't really like the color for him. Like he's a much lighter gray. This kind of looks like a shadow high color. Anyway, um, it's, I don't know. I am okay with the price difference. Um, like I like that they made it cheaper and it only comes with one outfit. I don't love that, but we've also seen where they're talking about doing um, fashion accessory packs or like, I guess that's the way, uh, fashion packs and stuff. If they make the fashion packs the second outfits for these and it's priced around $10, please no more than $10, um, then I'm okay with it because basically this doll plus $10 would have almost been the price of how much this doll would have been if it he came with two outfits. So like, it's kind of like, if you want that second outfit, you can go and buy it, but you don't have to pay for it. For example, Stella, I paid my original price for her. Of course, it was much different back then, the pricing, but I'm never going to use Stella's second outfit. It's not cute. Um, I do use certain pieces from it, but that's not the point. So let's say I never wanted to use her second outfit ever. With that being the thing, I still had to pay for the second outfit in order to get the doll and the first outfit. So here you can get the doll and you get them in one outfit, but if you don't like the second outfit, you don't have to buy it. And if you do like the second outfit and you want it, you can buy it from the fashion accessory packs. If that's how it works, then I'm totally okay with it. Like I have no complaints. But if these fashion accessory packs are going to be something different, not like in addition to their current series, then I might not be as interested. Because I want to have two outfits for Aiden and two outfits for all the other dolls in this series. Like, it really limits them because I often redress my dolls. And even at, not counting redressing, I just like to um, do different things with the dolls. So I am really hopeful that it's just, uh, that's what they're doing. They're like putting the second outfit in a different way to purchase. Okay, I got Aiden out, which is so exciting. Um, his clothing was, oh, that's interesting. His clothing is was pinned to his shorts and it left holes, of course. I do hate that. I don't know if you can see it. See right there and same on this side. I do hate that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I feel like it was unnecessary to do. 
But that's kind of something Rainbow has been doing for a while, and I'd love for them to change, but I'm not surprised, if that makes sense. And I don't like his part line, but don't worry, we are going to be fixing him right up. I'm going to be detensling him and everything, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's... Oh, what is... Okay. Is this a new hand sculpt for boys? His hand fell right off. Uh, so as far as that, if they work it that way, I have no problem with Rainbow High only being sold with one outfit. If there's a way to get the second outfit. Like, if those fashion packs that we've heard about um, are just an extension of the series, then I'm okay with it. I feel like his hand is a little loose. Maybe not. Yeah, his hand is definitely a little loose. I can't get it to stay in. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to look at that some more. Um, look. See, look at this. This is not necessary. His shirt is clipped to that. And it's going to leave a hole in his shirt. And no matter how, like, careful I am, it doesn't matter because they pinched it through the shirt. And, like, was it so important for the shirt to be at that angle on the top? I don't think so. But see, look. Now he has these same pinholes in his shirt. That is... I hate that. I really do hate that. That's something Rainbow High has consistently been doing for a while now that I'm not a fan of. Okay, so that's Aiden out of the box. We're going to just stand him back here. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to stand with how flat his bottom shoes are. There we go. He's cute. He looks really cute from that angle. Um, so I cut him out. I'm trying going to get his stand and his accessories out. And then I'm going to kind of show off the art in the back of the box here. So, yeah, I guess that's my idea on the pricing. Now I'd like to talk about Series 5 in general. Um, something I've noticed, uh, and I'm not alone in this, is that Series 5, uh, a lot of people feel like it just didn't hit as hard as some of the other series. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am so happy about Aiden. I love Aiden so much, but I do agree that series five just doesn't have like the same impact as some of the past series, um, which is, you know, pretty bad. And it's not just the second outfits because the perfect example is Shadow High series two. So I think Shadow High series two like destroys. Like, again, I'm not here for the fantasy colors. It's not my thing, but I think series two of Shadow High is so good. Like, it's, like, insanely good. Um, and it's almost like you don't even miss a second outfit because they're so good. I got his standout. I actually built that while talking about this. So they are so incredibly good that it's like, yeah, they don't even need a second outfit. And series five, yeah, there's some good ones. There's some really strong people in this series. But I don't think... They have that same impact as Shadow High Series 2. So that's a little upsetting. And I think part of it for me is I'm not excited by the color story of the series. So, like, I'm a big fan of light pastel colors. Like, for example, I think Series 3, like, color story-wise is my favorite. They also might be my favorite dolls in general. You don't even really need your stand. Oh, he has a really wide stand clip. Like, that is crazy wide. I guess this is the first time, I don't know if Finn had it or Ash because I haven't opened him yet. Um, but maybe that's the been the case for the boy stands because the only boy stand, again, that I've interacted with, he's attached more to his jacket, so I'm just unclipping it. The only boy jacket I've, inter boy stand I've interacted with is um, River. So this might be the standard boy stand. You can chill back there, Aiden. Where was I? Oh yeah, Series 5 just didn't hit as hard and their color story didn't speak to me that much. Like Aiden's perfect. Uh, like I've said before here on the channel, my favorite colors are like white and then like pastels, greens and purples and stuff like that. So like the really light pastel colors are really my thing. And like, he's basically like white and gray, but then in his hair, he's got these other pastel tones, very much Margot. Um, so he is incredible and I love him for so many reasons, but the series as a whole, it doesn't hit the same as some of the other ones to me. And it is disappointing because I always want Rainbow High to do good. I'm not like a 
trying to be like, oh my gosh, they're failing or anything like that. Because again, I cannot praise enough the Rainbow Vision line. I think the Rainbow Vision like series was absolutely ooh, incredible. I'm trying to remove this panel. I'm trying to remove this panel here. Uh, it has like little tear parts, so you're able to just rip that, but then it's attached here. So I'm gonna have to still cut it out. Because I think, as I was saying, Rainbow Vision destroyed. Rainbow Vision was incredible and had pretty good pricing for the most part, especially with the Rainbow Divas with everything they came with. But now we have, okay, maybe I can tear it here too. I don't want to mess up the art, but, oh, nice. It just tore out. Cool. I'll just show off his face what I can. I ripped this bottom one a little bit, but... I think that one's pretty cute. That one's nice, but like the big one's definitely my favorite. It's really cute. I like them including these sketches and getting more poses of the character. But that is it for his box. Oh, I gotta get his comb out. It's over here on the side. Ooh. Ugh. But yeah, I, I was just hoping for more for series five and hopefully we'll get uh, more from them in the future because the series as a whole didn't really speak to me. So his accessories, they're all kind of like blister packed in. So I'm going to take off the blister and remove all the accessories. Oh, it's like a, okay. I think I'll actually be able to just, I'm not trying to preserve this by any means. So I'm just tearing it open. Like, is this the safest way to do it? Not even a little bit. Dude. I don't want to mess up anything but i also don't want to take forever to do this so yeah series five mm, it didn't really hit but i am obsessed with aiden and one thing i will say is i noticed there was like a lot of people online with opinions about aiden and i think it's because we if you've watched the show and i think most people who collect do watch the show um to some capacity um aiden is like one of the original characters we were introduced with and he has a very clear look so people expect oh i'm missing part of this hanger people have expectations for like they want him to look exactly like he does in the show you know and i completely understand that like that's valid um i don't hate anybody who feels disappointed because he doesn't represent his um online version because looking at aiden this is actually perfect like him there versus this doll I can definitely say there's a lot of differences. This whole parting in the back is odd. Um, his shirt's supposed to be holographic and instead we got like this gray shimmer. Something is wrong with this hand. Um, we got this gray shimmer material instead. So there's definitely some changes here, but I'm okay with it only because I'm so happy with how this Aiden looks. But I think people are pretty valid when they're not, uh, they don't like them. I don't know. I guess it's kind of up to the person. But I love this Aiden. Like, I love what they did with Aiden. And as far as people complaining about his hairstyle, I know some people do not like uh, redoing hair, which is valid. But I feel like with his hair, it's going to be easy to get it. I don't want it to be like this, that short buzz cut kind of look he has. I like how much hair he has here and how much we can do with this hair. But it's not going to be hard to get it to look like it does in the show, in my opinion. But you shouldn't have to. I get that. So... Aiden's great for me, but I also understand some of the complaints other people have. I'm about to have a complaint about this hand, though. Like, so I'm worried that, because, you know, we usually have a long peg and a short peg. Do you see how this is, like, at an angle? One sec. This is, like, at an angle on the end. I'm worried that his hand is broken. But that doesn't really make sense, though, because I still have this here. But it doesn't click. Like it should, I feel. I might have to send something to MGA um, because I Aiden is the one I was most excited about. So I cannot handle like him having a broken hand and losing his hand. But it kind of works, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, putting Aiden back over here. We're going over his accessories now. So my favorite thing that um, they are doing now are these phones. Like I love the phones of phone cases. So he has a phone he's calling Avery. Um, I don't know what's behind Avery. It's just like Crystal. Oh, it says Avery Queen with a little heart. That's kind of cute. I'll be able to show that up close later. 
And then he, his phone case, it just has rainbow all over it in gray, super cute. I love these like phone accessories. They add so much and something I wish all the dolls had. Hopefully they release accessory packs later that has everything. Then we have his glasses, kind of like an aviator style. It says rainbow and very small text up in the top corner. These are very similar to like Ray-Bans, right? Then we have his laptop. And I know some people are tired of some of these uh, repeated accessories. I know that there was a laptop, I think, included with the house. I don't have the house, so this is my first Rainbow High laptop. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. I'm happy to have it. And it has the A's here. We have Aiden, Avery, and Ainsley. Um, it's really cute. Um, a lot of the other laptops, like from Shadow High Series 2, and I think even from this series, like I think uh, Perez, I forget her first name, Priscilla Perez. She's like working on the project. So I would have loved to see like Aiden working on some type of project of his here. Also, wait, in one of the episodes, wasn't Aiden doing something with music? Like he was helping in a music class or something. So I didn't know he was fashion design. Anyway, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. But I would have loved to see like what he's working on on his laptop. And then on the back, we have like a pastel gradient rainbow in the word rainbow. So that's a super cute phone so laptop and phones definitely my favorite accessories then this water bottle that just says sparkle in gray i know a lot of people are annoyed with the water bottles but again i don't have the pacific coast playset. i don't have any of the play sets i don't have the house or anything so this is my first time getting a water bottle so i'm excited about that i think it's cute so like i'm pretty happy with all of his accessories there's no hair dryers no makeup brushes no makeup palettes i have plenty of those from the rainbow divas and I already know that some of Series 5 came with some of those same pieces, which is unfortunate, honestly. I wish that they keep coming up with new accessories or at least not have repeated the same accessories so much, except for a phone. The phone is one thing I don't think anybody's going to be upset about them recreating because they make it personalized to each person. But they didn't even give every um, doll in the series a phone. Like, Olivia has no phone, which is upsetting because she's one I definitely want and she does not have a phone. Uh, why am I showing this? Oh, yeah. So here are his uh, hangers. I'm glad the hangers are back because I have the closet. I use it quite often. So these are great. But here's the thing. Why couldn't his stand be closer to the color of his hangers? Like, this is perfect for Aiden. This looks like I'm using a shadow high stand on him. So I don't love that. But it's fine. Well, I guess it'll have to be fine because there's no other choice. So that is Aiden Unboxed, and typically I jump to the, like, in-depth up close, which I do plan to do, but first things first, I need to get Aiden out. So again, Aiden, Ash. <laughs> Aiden's already out. So again, I'm using Ash as a fashion donor. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to keep um, Ash. He's a really cute guy. I really like him, but he just doesn't... What's the word? He doesn't excite me because he's shadow high. That's basically it. There's no big meaning past that. Um, these are his second pair of shoes. They're super cute. I really like them. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab his second outfit. Also, again, I know this is problematic that you can do this and they lose money. But also, with the unboxing experience, I actually really enjoy it. Like, it's a fun part of the unboxing experience for me. So, now we're going to cut this outfit out. So I'm not going to lie, the pieces that I want to steal from good old Ash here are definitely this jacket. Like, this white and gray jacket on Aiden over this, like, shimmery overtop. I think this jacket's going to kill. And it doesn't say shadow anywhere on it, I don't think. It says eclipse. But eclipse is fine. <laughs> um, I know that's a shadow high word, just like sparkle and magic seem to be a rainbow high word. But it doesn't say Shadow High, and honestly, even if it did say Shadow High, I'd still use it. But I think this Ashes piece is much cooler than what they gave Aiden. And again, I know this kind of represents what he wears in the show. But that's why I think a second outfit would have been so good for him. Because we've only seen him in one outfit, so giving him a second outfit... Like, he was designed with Series 1, so his design is going to be a bit simple like series one was so if they gave him a second outfit kind of like a redesign or like what they imagine he could be now through the lens of like now they've been through so many other series 
So I think like being a series one doll released with series five definitely limits him a bit. Oh my gosh, this one has so many. This shirt already has so many holes in it because it's pinned at so many spots. It's ridiculous. I cannot. I know I should just expect it, but it's so annoying to have so many holes. It might be a trigger because I was a, I don't know, maybe klutzy or clumsy child is the word for it. First off, my favorite color is white. That It's been that case for a long time. And I, in like middle school to high school, would have a lot of white shirts. But then I also didn't was not very careful when I ate. So I'd get stains on it. And then I'd be so upset because I'm not going to wear a stained shirt. That's embarrassing for me. I was like, I cannot wear a stained shirt. Or I'd be running through the house and catch my shirt on something, tear a hole in it. So, like, seeing these white shirts with, like, holes and everything, it's just, like, ugh, a personal trigger. But it's still super nice pieces. Oh, my gosh. So many. Like, look at this. Why? Why? I hope if they do do the mystery packs, they're like, I don't want them to be blind box. I want them to be color coded so we can tell what we're getting. But they're put away to a point where like, they don't have to attach it for display like this because it's ridiculous. As you can tell, I have a lot of feelings about this. But yeah, this jacket right here belongs to Aiden. Like, this is going to look so good on him. 100% how I'm going to be displaying him. Um, I might use some other pieces. Like, I think these shorts are kind of cute. And... I don't need these uh, leggings. These might be kind of cool on somebody else. I don't know. But so I've unpacked his entire second outfit. Ash has some incredible pieces. Now let's get to the doll himself. So I wonder how a lot of people are feeling. I think so, a lot of people think Rex. That's what people have been saying is like the best Rainbow High slash Shadow High doll is. Um, for me, it's Aiden, like, for sure. Ooh. I have been so excited for Aiden. I have someone, I haven't been like, where is he? When were you going to get him? Da, da, da. I wanted them to take their time with Aiden because the more time, the better they get. And we can see that because the boy dolls have improved every time they've released one. It feels like it's gotten better. And I know a lot of people have opinions about Aiden, um, which are valid. I do think... He would have benefited a lot from a second outfit, and he's... What's the best way to open these? I can't remember. I think, like, this from the side. He definitely would have, I think, benefited. I think he's the one who's hurt most by the whole second outfit thing, like I said earlier, because he was designed with Series 1 in mind. So he's probably held back the most. See, look. This is, like, the same color. Is this the exact same color? Okay, so Ash had the old uh, boy Rainbow High stand. But, like, is this... Because, like, look, this makes sense for Ash, but, like, how is that Aiden? It's, like, the same color. I'm going to be stealing somebody else's stand for Aiden. Like, what I want is a second Margot stand. That would be perfect. Oh, wait, he has articulated feet. Does Aiden have articulated feet? I'm not going to be able to tell until I take those uh, boots off. Okay, I got him out. He's good. Oh, something, two other things about Aiden that I like. One, I have a soft spot for guys with gray hair because I have only, like, this is my natural hair color, but I have dyed my hair only once in my life. And when I did, it was like a gray color. Okay, so technically I got it like professionally done and the person messed up my hair. And at first it was like a pastel -y gray pink i was so upset about it i was like not that the color was bad it's just not what i wanted and so then i took it upon myself and i did kind of like a purplish gray i actually surprisingly didn't take a lot of photos i think this was my sophomore year of college or was it my freshman year of college i can't remember it was like a summer around college or something i'll put in some pictures if i can find them i didn't take many pictures at this time but I loved my gray hair. Honestly, I still keep it, but the upkeep was insane. I had to re-dye my hair because the gray would fade so quickly. And then I'd be like, you know, bleach blonde, which was not my look. So I had to re-dye it so much. It was a lot of upkeep. But it was a very similar color to this kind of, like right here. This kind of like gray, but then at a shift of purple. Very similar. I love that hair so much. So additional soft spot for me. And another thing is... 
I wasn't sure if Aiden was going to have pierced ears. I really wanted him to, um, so that he could, for example. So I couldn't tell in the photos if he had pierced ears or not. I know he didn't have earrings, but I still wanted him to have, uh, pierced ears. And because, like, for example, we have, uh... Ash Silverstone's AirPods, and ta-da, now he can have AirPods, or he can have earrings too, you know? I was very happy to see that he did have ear piercing holes. Um, I think that's everything. We have unboxed both dolls, so let's flip the camera around, and I'm just like shaking them around. Let's flip the camera around and get a closer look at both of these boys. Okay, so here we are uh, to get our detailed view. And I know what you're thinking right away. Where's the ash representation? And honestly, I used only Aiden's box in the background, the inside and the outside because it's ash, uh, because it's Aiden's review featuring ash, honestly. So saying that, let's go ahead and grab Aiden and move him up close. So this is Aiden. He looks so nice. One thing I will say right off the bat, he has some type of white paint here. I'll have to acetone it off. Again, I don't have acetone on me at the moment, but I'll definitely get that removed. Um, so here's his face up close. He doesn't really have any makeup or anything, of course, but he's the palest boy we've had so far. He has these pink lips. He has the blue and purple eyes, which pretty much are a perfect representation of his eyes from the show. Then we have his hair, which is interesting to say the least. We have this like, I'm gonna have to cover up the other guy. He has this like silver color and then he has, it looks like the same type of tinsel that we had with Margot mixed with this light blue, mint green, light lavender. Um, and I think like a light pink, yeah, light pink right there. It's very similar. I think it's more silver. Um, I don't think Margot had any silver in her hair actually, but it's a very similar like pastel mix um, as Margot and Wow, that is a crazy long hair right there. I'm definitely going to be giving him a spa day. I'm going to be detinseling him because I recently have come to respect the tinsel in a lot of the hair, but I don't want it on him. And he has a weird rooting right here, but I really don't care because I'm literally just going to push it all up, I think. Like try to get it all to go upwards, kind of like that. We'll see what happens with his hair. I'm definitely going to probably be using hair gel, but luckily I use hair gel, so I have plenty of it. Um, he has the silver flocking right here and his flocking, oh my gosh, it wants to focus on Ash so bad. His flocking is so soft. So like with, um, River who also has flocking, it was kind of like a thinner flocking. This feels really thick and soft. So the flocking actually feels softer. I'll be able to compare it to Ash's in just a second. I guess that's his head mold right there. Um, but yeah, he's really nice and he looks a great... Head. I like the thick eyebrows and everything. Now let's move on to his outfit. So we have this silver chain, which you can remove because the back piece doesn't close. Um, same as like Tessa, if you have her from Rainbow Vision, the Royal Three. She has a very, I'm gonna have to turn him around. He is grabbing too much attention. Um, it's the same type of closure on it. It's really nice, cute. Again, represents him in the show. Let me take off his stand. Then we have this rainbow, and again, you can really see the holes in his shirt. It's so annoying. Um, but I do like his shirt. It just says rainbow with a clothespin through the O. It's cute. Then he has this over shirt with, like, a shimmer material in it. It's definitely a lot darker than it is in the show, but it does have the transparent sleeves for the most part. And I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Something I noticed when unboxing him is, like, it's kind of two separate layers, but not combined clothes i don't know what that's about i don't know if that like adds something to it but like yeah you can technically see out there oh and of course the same texture in his phone you can see in this it's like rainbow 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 it's really nice um but something i noticed with mine already i hadn't done literally anything and look there's already a rip so i'm definitely gonna be sending an email to mga about that and probably about his hand. So his hand, it doesn't just fall off. I want you guys to understand, like, it comes out super easy, but it does stay in. But I don't know if the problem is his arm or if it's the peg. I don't know what it's trying to focus on. But it doesn't, like, click in. You see what I mean? But it's not just going to come out, but, like, I don't have to work hard to get it to come out. So 
I'm not sure what the problem is there, but it's definitely something to be aware of. It's not, it doesn't feel as secure as a typical rainbow high doll. Um, now moving down to his shorts. So everything up here is a cotton material. This is like a, I don't know, it's kind of a rough material, but it's like that iridescent cloth stuff. This is almost like a really, I don't know, it feels kind of like what my shorts are typically made out of, like a almost suede, but it's not. It's just like a really closely knit fabric. It feels really soft, really nice. Um, again, we can see the holes, very annoying. Um, then he has this, let me move this up. He has this ribbon belt, which is really nice. It has this um, fake metallic shiny material on the buckle, but it's not a real buckle, it's just like for looks. And over here attached to the belt loops, we have this chain that says RH. And this belt is a separate piece. Oh, and the belt's like a ribbon, which is interesting. But the belt is a separate piece with Velcro. And then underneath his shorts. So you can remove the belt if you wanted to, if you want just the shorts. Um, it'd be a little plain to me after that, but you can if you want. Oh my gosh, I'm like making him a mess. Pushing the shirt around. So that's pretty nice. And then we have these shoes. So the shoes, we have real shoestrings which is always a win in my book, but also it's a split in the back, so it easily, easily comes off. And it's just this, like, milky white, opaque material. It's pretty cool. It's nice. And I'm going to take one off because I want to show his socks off. Oh, my gosh. So here it is. Oh, and it has a little rainbow down there. These are his socks. They're just white with gray rainbow written all over it, and he does... Okay, so it turns, but it's not the same articulation. Let me see. So this is his foot, but I don't think it's articulated. Yeah, I can get it to twist around, but I can't go up and down like I could with Ashes earlier. So he might have a new type of body articulation. Let me see if I can get his sock back on easily. Did I put it on right? Okay, yeah. But it's a cute sock nonetheless, and I don't really, like, with the shoes he's wearing... Um, he's not going to be doing much articulation anyway, but again, his foot articulation does feel more limited than what I felt of Ashes so far. So I'm going to put his shoe back on. There we go. So we can still turn his foot, but it just isn't going to move at an angle. So that is it for, um, Aiden here. I wanted to call him Ash for a second. And now let's take a second to look at some of Aiden's accessories. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty quickly through the simple accessories. Like, we have the water bottle. It says sparkle on it. It's nice. It'll fit in his hand with the little grooves they put on the side. Then we have his glasses. They just kind of like fade as you go down. Say rainbow up in the top corner. Nice aviators. I'll throw those on his head. Um, now the ones I'm more excited about. We kind of saw all that this has to offer earlier. It's just the A's and um, him. But it's nice. I'm happy to finally have a laptop piece. And then his phone. So I couldn't show it earlier too much, but you can see it'll focus let's see there it says Avery Queen with a little heart and has Avery with a decline or accept button and like a purple sparkly thing going on behind her and the back side is the same uh same design as his jacket the rainbow 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 all over super nice and then, then you can take the phone out of the case of course they come separate but I got excited and put them together already one sec Okay, so here's his phone out of the case. The only phone I've had so far is Paris Hilton's. And hers was like, uh, electroplated, I think is the word, when it's like metallic. But this is like a metallic paint. It's not like a reflective metallic material. But it's still really nice. And of course, it basically just looks like an iPhone. Okay, so there's Aiden with his glasses and his phone. Oh, look, he's left-handed, just like me. Um, now let's get into Ash. So... Let's bring him over. So we have Ash who has like a 
blue gray eye he's an all gray skin tone like the first series of shadow high was yeah look his flocking is hard so i'm gonna have to turn you around now because now the camera's wanting to focus on you so he has a hard flocking which is so interesting because aiden's flocking is so soft again not that it makes that much of a difference but it's just interesting that their flocking feels different um he has these airpods which are white with a pearlescent paint i love these these are such a cool accessory um he has like a little design cut in here his hairstyle is very similar to oh my gosh just focus to um to rivers it's just kind of slicked back silver hair really nice and he's got these thick eyebrows i think they're the same eyebrows as aiden actually yeah they're pretty similar i think ashes might be a little thicker or bigger in general um then we have this jacket which is amazing i'm gonna take his stand off so it sounds kind of like a windbreaker material feels similar then over here we have 86 some i believe korean text maybe japanese text um shadow high established 2022 anti-sparkle shadow high more text from another language established 2022 shadow high since 2022 can you tell they came out in the year 2022 um then right here it says shadow and like uh triangle formation with different variations of silver and gray then he's got pants made out of the same material as his jacket and he's got these iridescent stripes at the bottom it says shadow in a patch here which is like an embroidered patch it's really nice then it says level 99 and some more text that i cannot read more text in another language then right here we have text in another language going down uh another oh two um little iridescent stripes kind of to, like make it look like a back pocket i think and then these actually do have a pocket that's something i didn't look at with um aiden does he have pockets okay aiden does have oh my gosh focus he does have pockets i wonder if his phone can fit in his pocket let's see okay so that's the most his phone is getting in his pocket it is a pocket but it's just the phone is far too big especially in its case maybe out of its case but I don't want to have to go through that again. So now back to Ash here. He has these nice shoes that say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to turn Aiden around. He is taking all the attention. That say shadow, starting on this side and then, there we go. S-H-A-D-O-W shadow, little gray lines on the bottom. And his feet are articulate. Like, his feet can go this way and this way and spin around. So his feet are more articulated than Aiden's are. Um, also, he has some socks himself. It's I'll take his shoe off real quick. Ooh, ooh. So he just has these plain black socks with silver stripes. Very nice. So that is Ash in his first outfit. Now let's look at this second outfit. This one is the one that has pieces. Like, I feel like this outfit right here, taking away or keeping the pants, just this could seriously be Aiden's second outfit. Like, I know it definitely belongs to uh, him, especially with the shadow high on the back, but it belongs to Ash, of course, but like, I feel like Aiden's gonna look great in a lot of these pieces. So we have this hoodie over here. It says Eclipse with two X's. Then we have like a little pocket here. I think, yeah, it's a faux pocket. You can't actually open it up, I don't think. No, there's no way to open it up, but it's cool. This is like a faux leather, giving kind of like a varsity sweater vibe. Oh, and there's thumb holes. I totally forgot about that, that this has thumb holes. Uh, same on the other side with the thumb hole. Same patch, same little fake pocket. Then over here, we have another fake pocket on either side. Then we have all these buckles here, and I think they actually do buckle. Let's see. No, they definitely do not buckle because that is solid. So they don't buckle, but honestly, I wouldn't buckle it anyway. It's super nice, though. Then we have this iridescent uh, astronaut with some text in another language and, like, a dark moon with stars all over it. Really cool. More of those horrible, horrible uh, tags leaving holes in the shirt. Not a fan of that. 
Then we go down to these shorts, which are really nice. They have a tie. They don't Velcro. They're just um, like you pull them up. It's kind of hard fitting it on this uh, mannequin form because this was built for the female rainbow high body. But um, then we have more faux pockets over here on either side. Strings, a little SH patch. And that's it on that one. And then we just have these leggings. They are separate pieces. Um, let's see if I can show. I can't show it because of the way I put it on this mannequin. But these are separate pieces from the shorts. And you could would be able to see the knees through there. So that's super cool. So that is kind of everything at a quick glance. Oh, wait. Actually, the second pair of shoes for Ash. These are his other shoes. They just say shadow high they have some gray on them los angeles california usa class of 2022 little s on the bottom and that's kind of it same thing on this shoe really nice shoes so that is it on the detailed view of these two characters but now i am wasting no time we are jumping straight into our spot a for aiden here then i'll be detenciling him and honestly, because I'm going to be detenciling, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film much of the spa day, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. You'll find out in the next clip, but let's go ahead. I'm just excited to get Aiden display ready. Okay, I'm back. And so that means I did not record any of the spa day we had for Aiden. And that's because it got so complicated. So I thought it was going to be really simple. He has short hair. I was like, oh, it'll be easy. You know, just take the tinsel out, quick oil wash, we'll be fine. Um, it was probably the most difficult time I've had with a doll yet. So I want to start off by saying I have detensiled, um, Rainbow High dolls before. Two exact, two to be exact. I detangled White Hair to Maya and Margo, who I've brought over as an example. As you can see, she has no tinsel in her hair. And so I, I was like, I've had experience with detensiling Rainbow High doll hair. But Aiden's hair was insane like i think it's because the hair was so short so it's harder to see and harder to grab um i don't think it's any more tinsel than like what margo had because margo had plenty of tinsel um i'll just set her back here so it took i'm not joking a couple of hours to get his hair and even still now like i'm not perfectly happy with it but it is a lot better i might still like touch it up here and there but like He's good enough for display now, um, but let's go ahead and bring him over. So this is how, how I have Aiden display ready. So his hairstyle isn't much different than like what it was in the box, except the back area I cleaned up and it kind of spiky in the back, but honestly, my hair does the same thing kind of. Um, I just kind of wanted it to go up and kind of, I don't know, it looks a little, it doesn't look as crazy in person. Like in person, it looks very Johnny Bravo. <laughs> on camera but like in person it's much more like relaxed it's not as like hair raising i don't know on camera it's looking bad i need to like fix it up a bit or something i don't know one sec let's see what i can do um so first off i use tweezers to like in order to um i'm gonna just keep it like that it's fine it's fine it's looking crazy on camera, but in person, I promise it's not as crazy. At least to me, it's not. Like, it looks really got good at his side profile, but for some reason on camera, it's coming off a little wild. Like, he looks like a Slim Jim person on camera. That is crazy to me. Do you look like a Slim Jim person, like, in reality, and I just can't tell? This is messing with me. He looks so different in person than he does on camera right now. Anyway, okay. So this is how I have him. Basically, I kind of recreated what he came with, the hairstyle he came with. I, the only difference is, you know, the hair in the back isn't looking crazy. I didn't cut any hair. Well, actually, that's not true. I did cut some hair because he had a couple pieces that were like all the way down to here. It was like three or four strands that were just crazy long. So I trimmed those to match with the rest of the hair. But other than that, I didn't cut his hair or anything. He's... um. Yeah, and I, for his hair, um, while it was, well, first, let's get back to detensiling. Detensiling took forever because his hair is so short. And there's still pieces of tinsel I can see in his hair. So, can't really see him on camera, I don't think. I got him for the most part, but there's still, like, 
if I look up close, I can see one or two pieces. Like I can see one right there. Um, but for the most part, I got it, but it took hours. And I want to explain what I had to do. So I had to, first I washed his hair because I didn't want to pull out the tinsel with the gel in it. So I washed his hair and then I started pulling tinsel that way and it was taking too long. All the tinsel was breaking when I was pulling it um, with my tweezers. So then I started boil washing his hair and I'd boil wash it, comb through it and then grab pieces. And that was a lot easier, but still it was a very long process. So if you plan on detensling Aiden, get ready. You're going to spend a whole night doing so. Like I think the end result is worth it. His hair looks so nice without the tinsel, but it is a very long process. Like it is not a quick and easy done process. I'm like so messed up about his hair. One second, I'm going to like put a beanie on him real quick. Okay, we're back. Um, I fixed his hair a bit. It might look the exact same to you. Looks better to me. Still kind of looks like Johnny Bravo, but it's fine. So I struggled so much with his hair and I ran into a couple of problems. One, I think my Aiden's hair is shorter than um, some of the other Aiden's I've seen. I know a lot of other people have been able to put beanies on him and he's got, got bangs coming down, but um, like I have this beanie here and when I put it on him, his hair just barely sticks out. So his the bangs on my Aiden are super short. So I think that like um, definitely held me back as far as like what I could do um, when it comes to styling. But I still think it came out pretty nice. It looks good. I love the colors. It looks so nice. You can see it a lot more with the tinsel out. I thought it was the same as Margo's, but Margo's has much more of a purple base and his has more of like a silver base. So you can see a bit of the difference there. So it's not exactly the same, but they definitely have like um, a similar thing going on. Um, also, you can see um, I did decide to roll his shorts up. They were just looking a little plain, so I wanted to. And rolling the shorts up a couple uh, notches is something I actually do with my own shorts. So I rolled it up a couple notches. Um, I gave him Ash's coat. It looks amazing on him. And uh, I guess like a secret saving grace is uh, you saw in my review his hand, this hand specifically, kept falling off. With Ash's coat with the thumb hole, it keeps the hand in placement. So that's great, but I am going to be emailing MGA about this hand. I don't know if like I need a hand replacement or if I need a whole new Aiden. I don't know what the situation is, but I'm hoping MGA will work with me on that because that's very upsetting. He was one of he's the one I was looking forward to most and to have that happen is very unfortunate. Um also, I took the AirPods from Ash who we have sitting back there. I just like covered him up completely. We have him sitting back there. I know usually I like to show off the second outfit after, but like, since it's really just for Aiden, here it is. And the other pieces I didn't even use. But yeah, he looks really nice. Uh, ooh. He holds his phone pretty easily, left hand uh, with the little thing. I was worried he wouldn't be able to hold it with um, this hoodie, but it's still able to like clip on, which is nice. So he can still call Avery. And yeah, he looks really nice. I am super happy to have him in my collection. He does still have a couple flaws. Like I've said, like um, his bangs are a little short. Um, the tinsel is so hard to mess with. And this hand is definitely, there's something wrong with it because I messed with Ash and River off camera and they do not have this problem with their hands. So it's definitely an Aiden thing. And I'm hoping it's just a my Aiden, not everyone's Aiden because that means if it's just my Aiden, hopefully MGA can help me fix it. But if it's all Aiden's, then I don't even think they'll be able to like fix the problem. So hopefully it's just a my Aiden thing and I'll get it sorted out with MGA. Um, so I do love this doll. Oh, oh, and then another fault is this stand. Like, I feel like he needs a stand like Margo, you know? Like, I don't understand this stand color for him. Like, he's a very, he's gray, yes but a very, very light gray. So I really just don't get this stand. And I wish they had just done it similar to his hangers. So with that being said, I don't know if he's gonna be my favorite from series five. I do still love him, it, even with his flaws, like speaking from a personal bias, I love him so much. Um, I see a lot, I don't know, there's, there's so many things that I connect with this doll and with this character that he's always going to be special and I'm excited to get him up on the display and everything. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Aiden. Um, again, I know a lot of people love him. A lot of people hate him. He's a very uh, polar seeming doll because 
he doesn't reflect his show side very much, but some people love the new look. I'm somewhere in between, like, I don't think he looks like his show version too much, but I also love this doll. Like, I love what they did with it, and it's still good enough for me, so... I love him. I hope you guys enjoy the very slight restyle and the slight little featuring of Ash. And I think that's everything. So um, as always, I appreciate it. If you can give this video a like, if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more content from me. And as always down below, I've linked my Instagram. It's his.dolls on Instagram. And that's where you can see Aiden and many other amazing photos of my collection. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,